Welcome to the presentation, Lytic Cycle versus Lysogenic Cycle. What is Lytic Cycle? Lytic Cycle is the bacteriophage replication cycle wherein uh, the host or the bacteria is lysed to release the newly formed phages. The bacteriophages that causes bacterial cell lysis are called virulent phages because they induce a virulence or the cell lysis that's why they are called virulent phages. What is lysogenic cycle? Lysogenic cycle is also a bacteriophage replication cycle, but in lysogenic cycle, there is no bacterial cell lysis. Lysogenic phages are also known as non-virulent phages, or these are called also known as temporar temporary phages. We can look at uh, the lytic cycle as well as the lysogenic cycle here is the overview of uh, of the whole process you can see on the left uh, there is a lytic cycle phase in the lytic cycle what happens is that uh, the bacteriophage which uh, attaches to the bacteria either uh, through adsorption or through penetration they inject the genetic material or the, uh, the viral dna into the bacterial cell so they create a pore, pore, and uh, do, using their uh, machinery, they inject the inject the uh, via, viral power, genetic material into the into the bacterial cell. So once once the bacteria uh, bacterial uh, once the 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 viral DNA enters the bacterial cell, they they form a they form a circular. Uh, circular shape and uh, and starts to replicate by a rolling cycle so the phage dna replicates and uh, once it starts replicating it uses the the host machinery uh, to synthesize the viral capsids or the outer coat of the of the virus so that's called the capsid so once uh, once the the proteins uh, are synthesized using the host machinery they package themselves into the newly formed viruses and uh, those are released uh, those are released by breaking the cells causing the the viral particles uh, releasing into the releasing out of the of the bacterial cell ready to reinfect the new bacteria whereas in lysogenic phase uh, once the once the DNA from the virus enters the bacterial cell, uh, enters the bacterial cell, they integrate into the bacterial genome or the host genome, and forms a part of uh, the bacterial genome. And this form, this kind of, uh, this kind of, uh, you know, stage is called the prophage because they are inactive in this case, so they they will not replicate by itself. They integrate into the into the uh, the host uh, genome and forms a prophage. Uh, the, the the during the replication of the bacterial genome uh, the virus also viral DNA also gets replicated as it is integrated into the genome but in some cases due to UV exposure or any other stress induced conditions uh, the viral viral DNA gets excised from the bacterial genome and they they enters lytic cycle so normally in the lysogenic phase they remain inactive as it is integrated into the into the bacterial genome but when when there is a stressor uv induced uh, uv injection they can get excised from the bacterial genome and enters the lytic phase and then thereby again start to synthesize their own their own capsid proteins and uh, they package themselves into a viral particles and then release and then they can infect new new uh, bacterial cells so here you can see clearly that the lytic phase is basically the cell lysis phase the the bacteria enters uh, the the bacteriophage enters enters the bacterial cell and replicates there synthesize the proteins required for for their uh, viral uh, particle formation and then they're released out by breaking the cell but whereas in lysogenic phase the difference is that the the entered bacterial dna gets incorporated into the 
into the bacterial genome and uh, replicates along with the bacterial genome they remain dormant in this case in this period of time they remain dormant they will not harm the bacterial cell so as long as uh, it is not induced by any any stress or any uv light it, they remain dormant but once it is excised from the from the bacterial genome they can start entering into the lytic phase and uh, the process continues so lytic phase is the active phase whereas the lysogenic phase is the dormant phase let's look into the difference between lytic and uh, lysogenic cycle as we have discussed uh, earlier viral particles are released by cell lysis in case of lytic cycle whereas in lysogenic cycle there is no cell lysis only there is a prophase formation because it is in the dormant phase so there is no cell lysis involved during the lysogenic cycle and the second difference is that uh, the viral dna does not incorporate into the bacterial genome as we have seen earlier uh, in lytic cycle they they for they will not get incorporated into the bacterial genome but they remain independently and can replicate independently okay whereas in lysogenic cycle viral dna gets incorporated into the bacterial genome and forms prophage and this stage is called the prophage viral dna replicates independently in lytic cycle whereas viral dna replication depends on host genome as it is integrated into the the bacterial genome once the bacterial genome gets replicated along with that the viral dna also gets replicated lytic cycle uses host cellular mechanism and that gets disturbed as the viral dna replicates because it utilizes utilizes the ribosome and other other uh, you know, protein synthesizing units for uh, the replication as well as for the capsid formation and to, uh, for synthesis of the new new code proteins and uh, tail and head part of the bacteriophage so and finally while releasing that damages the host cellular mechanism but in lysogenic phase that is uh, and it's a temporary phase it will not much harm the harm the bacterial genome so host cellular mechanism is not much disturbed at viral DNA integrate to form prophage you can look at it again for the overview so here is the lytic phase and here is the lysogenic phase in lytic phase once the bacteriophage enters uh, bacteriophage injects the DNA or the genetic material into the bacterial cell they start to replicate and start using the host machinery to synthesize the phage head tail and uh, and they assemble in themselves, uh, themselves into new viral particles and uh, that is released out by breaking the cell or the cell lysis and uh, the new viral particle can in go and infect uh, many other bacteria but whereas in, in lysogenic phase once the bacteria uh, bacteriophage dna enters enters the bacteria cell they gets incorporated and replicates along with the bacterial genome and due to some stress or the uv uv light injection they can this viral dna can get excised from the bacterial genome and they will enter the lytic space and the whole process continues thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe